Whenever someone comes up to me and says, I want to be an actor, what advice do you have for me? The first thing I say is go get some training. If you look, you know, at the Paul Newmans, at the Meryl Streep's, they all study. So they're able to do more things. They have just a bigger toolbox. Knowing the history of the discipline, knowing how to tell stories, knowing how to illustrate stories, um, and what the message is going to be. It takes years and years and years to learn the subtleties of, of really t telling a good story and making a great television show. The quality of, of some of these TV shows is like almost like a movie, and all, you know, and except for you get to follow the characters longer. It's not just a two-hour movie. I remember. Uh, as a you know young guy in Australia watching Entourage for eight seasons and and that was you know like you were so with those guys and you wanted to be those guys and and you wanted to see what would happen next year. This is a very vis visible profession that I've chosen to do. Uh, it's very public, so it provides a platform. I've played a fire captain that's lost men in the towers based on a true story. I've played uh, a man who lost his wife in uh, the flood in, during Katrina. And there's, to me, there's a very, there's nobility in that. But also, too, I think it's important that we not forget that sometimes it's just a laugh. I threw out four ribs one day, you know, killing a zombie. And, you know, it's kind of like your badge of honor. It's like, you know, I, I earned that day. Any sort of acting work, whether it's on television or on stage, it really only half exists until there's an audience, until there's someone to receive that that message or that communication. And so having that sort of direct conduit to other people is really powerful. People are much more alike than we could ever be different. And the Cosby Show demonstrates that very clearly. People all over the world identify <laughs> with family. All over the world, it's the same. We were the first family to have a television on the block. My friends would come over, and I was really little, and we'd wait for TV to come on, and the thing was just a miracle. 